Hi, in this video we want to talk about LangChain. But what is LangChain? As you may know better, large language models like ChatGPT are able to answer questions on topics on which they are trained. But they are not able to answer questions on our personal data or personal documents because they are not trained on uh, such data. But the question is, how can we use such models on our own data? For this purpose, uh, we can use LangChain. LangChain uh, is an open source framework that allows AI developers to connect or chain large language models like ChatGPT with external sources of data. In fact, with LangChain, you can convert your data into context information that can be used by your chosen language model to provide some specific responses to your questions or your queries. For example, your data could be a book, a PDF file, a text file, a SQL database, or even a YouTube video. If you feed a YouTube video to LangChain, it extracts its audio, it converts that audio to text, and then the text data can be used as a context for the large language model. And currently, a LangChain supports more than 80 different data sources. But now let's see how LangChain works. The first step is to load your data. And there are a bunch of data loaders provided by LangChain, as I mentioned. So you can load your data uh, and you get your documents. And after that, you need to chunk that documents into some smaller pieces or some smaller chunks and this splitting is important because we want to actually uh, the, uh, we want to uh, model the relationship between different chunks or in other words the large language model like ChatGPT needs to understand the relationship between different chunks to extract some semantic information and here's an example for example you uh, have a input text you first specify a chunk length and these chunks can even have overlaps so uh, uh, a line chain first converts your input sentence or input text into uh, you know smaller chunks and after that you need to convert these chunks into some numbers because neural networks like chat gpt they don't understand words they just understand numbers so this way uh, you can actually convert them uh, convert each chunk into a vector of numbers through uh, the so-called embedding uh, layers or embedding functions and this way you can convert your input text into a set of uh, uh, vectors vectors of numbers and you store those vectors into a database which is called vector store so that vector store is an index of uh, a set of vectors corresponding to different chunks of your input data now that we have the uh, vector store uh, let's see how we can use that vector store or that database to get some specific information from our language model using an input query so if you have an input query uh, you first convert that uh, query into some embeddings uh, and because in our vector store we already have a set of pre-computed embeddings from our data so you can use a mechanism like similarity search uh, to find the most similar entries in our database to the, the input query and then you can find a smaller subset of the most relevant information to your query and then you can use that uh, information as a context information for your language model to get uh, specific or customized information based on your input query. And this framework is called Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAC. So using this RAC framework, you can actually use your external source of data as a context information for your large language model. Okay, now let's see how we can install LangChain in Python and use it. For this purpose, the first step is to create a virtual environment using this command, python 
dash M virtual environment and the name of your virtual environment. Here we assume that the name of our virtual environment is EMB. Then you need to activate that virtual environment. For this purpose, you can use this line, source EMB being activated. So this way you can activate your virtual environment and install the required packages within that virtual environment. And for this example, in this video, we just need to install the main packages. The first one is Langchain itself, and you just need to use Langchain LLM to uh, actually uh, install the required uh, large language models for Langchain. And also because uh, we want to use OpenAI ChatGPT in this example, you need to install uh, pip3 install OpenAI. So this way you, you can install the required packages in Python and use them. The next step is to get an API key from OpenAI. For this purpose, you can go to this website, platform.openai.com slash API keys, and then you should press this button over here to generate a new API key. And then you, you copy that API key and use that API key in the Python Go that we are gonna uh, talk about it next. Now let's see how we can use or interact with ChatGPT using Langchain. For this purpose, uh, you first need to uh, import this module, it's called ChatOpenAI, from langchain.chatmodels, and then you should paste your API key over here, and after that, you create a model of ChatGPT using this line. So ChatOpenAI, and you provide the API key uh, over here as an input argument, so you get a version of ChatGPT model over here. So it's very simple. And after that, uh, if you want to ask some questions from ChatGPT, you can simply use this method from this model, chatmodel.predict, and then uh, you can specify your question uh, or your query over here. So you get the result in this variable, and then you can actually print the result. So, you will see the output response of ChatGPT after uh, running this uh, command. The next step is to load your data using Langchain. For this purpose, you can actually import a data loader. For example, if you want you to uh, load your PDF file as an external source of data, you can use PyPDF loader, which is provided by Langchain.documentloaders. As I mentioned, Langchain supports more than 80 different data loaders. So for example, you can uh, load your even uh, YouTube uh, video or even your web page. So you can uh, use different data loaders provided by Langchain for this purpose. And after that, you use this um, command actually, pypdf loader, and you specify the address of your input PDF files. For example, mylecture.pdf. And you get a loader uh, object and using uh, the load function of that loader you can actually load different pages of your PDF into this uh, object pages after this stage you need to chunk your data uh, for this purpose you can use character text splitter from langchain.textsplitter and you need to specify some input arguments for this text splitter. For example, you need to specify the chunk size, the chunk overlap, and also the separator, which is the new line. So this way you can chunks your input text into different smaller chunks, each of this, uh, of this length. And after that, you need to use this split documents function of this text splitter to chunks uh, to chunk your pages into smaller pieces. Now that we have the chunks, we need to convert them into embeddings. For this purpose, we can use OpenAI embeddings. Why OpenAI embeddings? Because we are using OpenAI model. So the embeddings should be relevant to our chosen language model. So we use OpenAI embeddings from langchain.embeddings.openai. And also to generate or create our vector store, we can import Chroma 
which is a module from langchain.vector stores to actually create or uh, generate our vector stores. Uh, so to, to get our embedding uh, object, we use OpenAI embeddings, as I mentioned, and also you need to specify a pass for storing uh, our vector store. So you specify a pass over here and we call it persist directory. And then we can actually use chroma.from documents to generate our vector store. So we have documents stored in uh, or those chunks stored in uh, this object docs. So we specify documents uh, uh, using this, this line. And also we store our embedding function over here. And also we uh, specify the address uh, that uh, we need to store our vector store. So this way we can actually create our vector store or vector DB. And the final step, how we can answer a question based on our creative chain. So for this purpose, we can use this module, Retrieval QA, or question answering from langchain.chains. So uh, you can use this, uh, this command uh, to create a pipeline by which you can specify your uh, language model, which is uh, stored in this object, chat model. This is our OpenAI uh, GPT model. And also, you need to specify a retriever, which is our vector database or vector store. So we can actually use this command, vector db dot as retriever. And this way we can create our chain for question answering or QA chain. So this is a chain by which uh, we can actually provide uh, an input question to it and get an output from it. So uh, you can specify, for example, a question over here. What are major topics for this class? Uh, remember, our data was a PDF. Uh, let's say you have a lecture in that PDF uh, and you want to actually ask ChatGPT to go and analyze uh, that PDF file and give you some specific information about that lecture in that PDF file. So for this purpose, you need to feed that QAA chain an input dictionary. And the input dictionary has this format. Uh, it has a key called query and uh, its value is the question that you want to ask. Uh, so you feed this dictionary to this QA chain and you get a result and then you can actually print uh, uh, the result uh, using this command. And this way you can actually get some specific information using ChatGPT by using your own uh, data.